Savage Business. Simple business advice for you to start and run your business. Well, hello there. My name's Glendon Cameron, serial entrepreneur, and I'm designing this channel to teach you how to start and run a business. There will be many, many, many different topics that we'll be talking about, many things we'll be unpacking. We'll be putting together a collective of repository of business advice from someone who has a business, who's had multiple businesses, who's run businesses. One of the things that this channel is not, it's not gonna be a get rich quick type deal. You're not gonna be able to do the majority of these things in a few weeks or even a few months. This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University, AKA Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, where our current course that we have going on is how to make money from scratch to set up in the foundation. So if you wanna get 50% off of this course, what you will do is leave a comment on this video. And also, there's a whole lot more for you at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. We deal with credit repair. We deal with how to start a business and the money management course. If you want 50% off of this course, leave a comment in the video. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So let's get into this wonderful bean footage. It's going to take a few years. Let's just get that straight off the bat. You start a business, it's 2020, and it's going to probably start cracking 2022, 2023. And the reality is you've never had a business, my dear friend. You have so much to learn it's going to take you many, many months and years to learn these things. You're going to have to learn how to market your business. You're going to have to learn how to create a sales funnel. You're going to have to learn how to do internet marketing. You're going to have to learn how to run ads. All of these things are going to take a lot of time. You're, Because you're, here's one of the big issues that people have. They want to create a business and they'll say something as silly. I want to create a business so I have more free time. In the beginning, there will not be any free time. No, there won't be any free time because you're not quitting your job. Nope, you're not quitting your job anytime soon. This is what you're going to do. You're going to work your job and then when you're off, this is when you're going to work on your business, which means you will not get to hang out with your friends as much. If there's a birthday party, a wedding, or a funeral, something that doesn't happen that often, go. I'm not saying become a hermit, but hey, you know, it's Friday night, let's just sit around and drink and talk smack. You don't have time for that, my enterprising person. You're not going to be doing that. You're going to be working your nine to five, and I'm going to explain the concept of why you're not going to quit your job. Your business is going to need oxygen. And what is oxygen for your business? Revenues, cash. Your business is going to consume cash. It's going to need cash to grow. You, my friend, need cash to live on. So this creates a conundrum. The business needs cash and you need cash. What are you gonna do? You're gonna keep working your job so that cash can support you and then you're going to let the cash that the business generates support the business until the business is really booming and growing and there's so much extra money that you can now, the business can support itself and it can support you. One of the things here is you're gonna get the blunt truth about starting businesses and this is one of the things that you just don't get on the internet that much. There are many people who feel like they'll tell you that you, know, you can go from nothing, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute, to making 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, 100,000 dollars a month. You currently make two to 3,000 dollars a month if you're the average American. The average, what, 50, 51% of the people in this country don't make 28,000 dollars a year. 40, like I think it's 60% don't make 40,000. And 70% don't make 50,000. So 
there is a great chance that you're in those categories where you're only bringing home two to $2,500 per month after taxes. So how are you gonna go from that to now $10,000 per month with your current skill sets? It's not gonna happen. Uh, I've seen people who will leave a, well, this course was a, a scam because they took it and they didn't, and I will say that some of these course creators create courses for people who already have a certain type of background. And this is why they take this course and this course fills in the missing pieces and the missing ingredients so that these people can now take off. But what if you are just a straight up raw rookie? What if you're so wet behind the ears you're just dripping off your chin? What if you don't know nothing about business? There's just no way that you're gonna go from 2,000 to 2,500 bucks per month to 10,000. It's not gonna happen fast. It can happen. It happened to me, but it took some time. It took, you know, let me tell you my job to, my, my journey to starting my business. I was at one point homeless and I was living in a boarding house. And if you don't know what a boarding house is, this is a place where a bunch of people who don't know each other cohabitate. One week, your roommate can be a crackhead. Next week, your roommate can be a convicted drug dealer. You never know. And I was in that situation when I was working a bunch of low wage, crappy jobs. And I was just barely making it. And then uh, I read some books on uh, house sales and I was selling for Voice Dream, which now is T-Mobile. And I was the number one salesperson and I got let go. Very, very valuable lesson here. Really, really valuable lesson because I did a great job, but because I wasn't properly connected to the company, I was coming in through a temp agent. I wasn't a tip agency. I wasn't a direct hire. I got let go while the people who were direct hires who had built a relationship with the people inside the company were kept, even though my performance was greater than their performance. Valuable, valuable lesson. So I go home and I was like, I need more income. I need, I need a better job. So what I do is I sit down and I come up with this plan that I'm going to create these crafted resumes for the jobs that I want and I'm gonna create my own reference. And at the time, cell phones were not as ubiquitous as they are today. So I went ahead and I had a pager and I bought this service for 35 bucks per month, which was a lot of money for me at the time. And essentially it was a voicemail and it, whenever someone called the voicemail and left a message, it would hit my pager. So that was the setup. So I had practiced my Indian accent to be my reference and I filled out these jobs, these uh, applications for these jobs, sent them my resume and I got one. And this job paid me $38,000 a year base salary, which was more money than I was making doing the the, the, the crappy jobs. I was making minimum wage, maybe 10 bucks an hour. And it was $38,000 a year base plus commission. So I got that job and I immediately, within the first two months, learned a group of skill sets that became invaluable to me that I still use today. Now, did, once I learned these skill sets, did I go ahead and quit my job and start a business? No, I was still a raw rookie. So I got a better job and paid me more money. I went to $60,000 a year plus commission and I stayed there and then I went to a 100% commission deal, which was a little scary, but I went it for it. And essentially it was 50% of the net. And in this job, because the previous job taught me how to put certain things together, this job taught me how to because I already knew how to find customers, already knew how to set appointments, already knew, because this is what I learned from the first job. But this job taught me how to set all that and run and manage projects, which were invaluable. And then, while I was on this job, a, a certain deal came, and it was like, hey, if you would sell our used office furniture, we'll buy new office furniture from you. I was like, bet. So I take it to my boss, and he's like, we don't do that here. Let it go. And I was like, you don't do that there. So this was the creation of my first company, which is what I'm telling you to do. I created my first company while I had a job. Yeah, I didn't go off on my own. 
So I created my own LLC and then I sold their used office furniture and you know, I negotiated it where I sold their used office furniture. I would get 50% of the sale. I made $90,000 my first month selling their used office furniture through my connections and networks that I had built starting from the first and second job because I was able to tap into people that I had met at conferences and network with. This enabled me to sell this furniture very quickly because I was plugged in. And I was like, wow, I have never made that kind of money in my life. This money plus a few more sales gave me the ability to go off on my own because I did not have, uh, also I started selling new office furniture. Something I currently was doing, something I already knew how to do, I was already connected, I already knew how to get customers, already I started a business, because one of the things you're gonna learn here is to start a business that's in alignment with your strengths. Because so many people start businesses because it sounds good or well, they make a lot of money doing that and they don't know nothing about the business. So they start this business, they gotta learn about the business, they gotta learn how to manage the business, they gotta support themselves. And this is why the failure rate is so high because people do not choose the businesses which they start really wisely. They don't choose it wisely at all. They just go ahead and dump, jump into it. And it's crazy how this happens. This was my first business, it was successful and it got me into the storage auction business because my first year I sold well over a million dollars of new office furniture but because I had made so many mistakes I had so many punch item lists and just screw ups that I only had like a $35,000 profit and I went back and I was like man I made more money selling all used office furniture so I started to look for how to find used things to sell which led me to storage auctions and then that business I was in that business for almost 10 years. So what you're gonna learn here is how to start a business that's in alignment with your strengths. You're gonna learn how to, what's the difference between a business and what's the difference between a hustle? Because some hustles can become businesses and there's some hustles that'll never be any, they'll never be, never be a business. It's always gonna be a hustle. And what's the difference between a business and self-employment? Self-employment is what many business owners are. They're the only employee and they're self-employed. There is no system because when you have a business, and I'm gonna share something with you that's very personal in a minute, you make money when you're not working with your business. And last year this time, I had a heart attack and a stroke. And I was in the hospital and I, I was able to work for many, many months because of the way that I had structured my business, money kept coming in even though I wasn't working. And it wasn't, quote, passive income, it was an active income, but I still had generous income coming in even though I wasn't doing anything because that's how I set my business up. And this is really strategically hard to do because you're gonna need other people. And we're gonna talk about all that stuff. We're gonna talk about your first steps. Because one of the things about this channel is we're gonna get into a lot of foundational stuff which is what many people here on YouTube and Facebook, they don't really get into the foundational stuff. And I'm gonna bring up a reference of, remember if you're old enough, when Michigan had the fabulous five, there was these five basketball players of unparalleled raw athletic ability. These guys were like superhumans with basketballs and they played Duke a team that had no one that was as athletic as these guys, but the difference is Duke was schooled in fundamentals. Whereas the Fab Five, they just got back on pure athleticism. And Duke won the national championship. If the Fab Five of Michigan had been schooled in the fundamentals, they would have had four championships in a row. But because they were young and undisciplined and didn't know the game the way that Duke did, that's when they got beat. So one of the things we're gonna work here on is fundamentals. And one of the things you're gonna to have to learn is, because there's a lot of people who wanna be business owners, but I wanna learn how to sales. I don't wanna be salesy. You don't wanna be a business owner. Business owner sells stuff. You, you, or you have a team of people selling stuff. This is what puts money in your pocket, selling stuff. So if you don't wanna sell stuff, you don't really wanna be a business owner because sales is a huge, huge part of it. And there's many businesses 
where you can actually get people to come to you. And we're gonna break down all of these businesses. We're gonna talk about all these things and we're gonna school you on how to start and run a business with real simple, plain English language. Because there are many people who are perfectly suited from an intellectual standpoint to run a business. They can do it. They just don't have the training or the knowledge. And that's what we're gonna do here. So if you want to start a business, if you want to learn about business, if you love business, if you want to know about money, this is the channel that you should subscribe to. And the way that I'm going to build this channel is each video is going to contain important lessons. So you should watch all of these videos. I went through this process because uh, I came across a book, a course called Lead to Feel, and a book called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And that gave me the information to create my plan to get that first job. And that first job was very pivotal into my success today because I still use things I learned from that first job to this very day. So once you learn certain type of skills, they can become invaluable to you for the rest of your life. So be sure to subscribe to Savage Business Simple Advice to help you start and run your business. Hit the bell notification and be sure to come back to the channel and see what's new. So with that, I'll see you in the next video.